Welcome back to the channel guys, it's just a quick update, um, only 5 hours ago I did a video on the Hyper HYP token launch and the UDO token uh, on the native platform of Howdo um, and that uh, I saw it around this level and I believed that um, we could get a bounce potentially and I believe that uh, in the first week of August we're going to have a massive pump and only 5 hours ago I pointed you out to this chart in my video on the X Markets Exchange and said that it might not be the best buy because I didn't know what was going to happen next but it's definitely a better buy than what it was the previous day and since then in only 5 hours we've seen in excess of a 50% pump in Udo and guys I mean I'm thinking that this is going to be a huge pump in august this is going to be a huge especially with when we've got the the token swap coming um this uh, uh sometime next week i believe in august uh, all i know is it's the beginning of august and if i do remember correctly it's going to be around august the 6th when the hyper platform launches but don't quote me on that like i've said before but i do anticipate a huge bull run in this coin potentially okay now is it a good time to buy now? You would have to decide. There could be a pullback, there could be a consolidation and a continuation to the upside, or we could see it fall off. But uh, I don't think it's, I think it's more probable that it will continue to the upside. Um, but remember, I'm not a financial advisor and it's not financial advice. Please do your own research and make your own decisions in this market. I personally think it's going to be a continuation to the upside after some consolidation because of the fundamentals, because of the new token launch uh, and the token swap, because of the new uh, American corporation, now Hyper, because of the rebranding, I believe that, you know, August is going to be a big month, big month for this coin. Now, bearing in mind, we're only on a 15 minute chart, but X Markets does give me some problems when I'm trying to look at the different time frames, it doesn't record the accurate uh, numbers for me, uh, the accurate price uh, price action. So I'll just show you now. If I go to the one hour, you probably see it looks a little bit different. Uh, it says it's at 17500, but up here it's at 20483. So this is incorrect. That's not the right price action. The candle is actually more up here. Okay. So that's why I focus on the 15 minute time frame. Now I don't know why it does that to be honest. I can't really answer that question for you. But at the end of the day, um, I go by this when I, when I look at price. All right, and the balances don't update in real time either. So that's something you need to take into, into account when you're, when you're trading on X markets. Um, I do not recommend a quick buy, okay? Because you can put a quick buy in and it will just execute your order like let's say for example it could be down here and it will execute your order up there i do recommend being more patient when you're putting your buys in make sure you keep your eye on the order book and just buy you know bit by bit step by step over here rather than putting a quick buy going up to 100 percent for example okay i'm not oh i am logged in you could put a quick buy go up to 100 percent for example press that and it might execute your order in a place where you didn't want it way up and you could just start off your trade in or your investment in a loss okay so yeah if you are using x markets i recommend you know you buy bit by bit go through the order book you know put your ethereum up there oh i've got some spare ethereum up there and uh yeah you basically just buy like that all right but bearing in mind you do need to keep some on the side for gas as well all right so i did leave uh, a little bit on the side for gas and uh you know last thing you want to do is try and put 100 percent buy on on a quick thing and it doesn't go go through because you haven't taken into account your gas fees so you can adjust your order but like i say don't do the quick buy well it's completely up to you if you're on a long-term hold and you just want to get in blindly then just do that but uh, no that's not for me but guys yeah as you can see 
over 50% at the moment and is it going to go further? If you do look on the one day chart or the four hour chart, obviously it looks, it, 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 it does look more clearer that it could be a continuation. As you can see, look, we've still got a problem there. I'm on the one day chart now and look, it's still showing that the price action is all the way down here. I actually bought up here, uh, as you can see my green arrow there, my annotation. I bought there, but I believe in the project. Um, I don't really invest in anything that I'm not willing to hold long term nowadays. All right, and obviously we saw it come to the downside. I held it and obviously now we've seen it bounce back up to around about my original entry price roughly all right but i expect to see a continuation to the upside like i said before obviously this is not a clear uh, view of the price action because we should see a giant green candle going up there after that but yeah this is i don't know i don't know what's going on with x markets i don't like it too much to be honest but i did buy it on here and not on uniswap and uh yeah i'd much rather be able to see uh, the price action whether it be in a 15 minute or not okay which i can't actually do on uniswap okay all right guys so yeah that's it just a quick update now um obviously if i was going to take a position here which i'm not i would kind of wait for a pullback or i would kind of make sure that it's consolidating maybe see if we can print a bull flag maybe or a descending triangle and then another boost to the upside but going into monday now I think there's there's going to be quite some volume coming in with the marketing campaign that you do or how do or hyper are, are going to be pushing out with the celebrities and the, the potential is just like i mean there's just so much potential for this project right now and uh yeah i wish i would have been able to if i would have been patient rather than buying in over here i could have picked up my you do down there but i didn't i did consider doubling down I'm putting another small investment in over here, but uh, I'm too late for that now. And I'm not going to FOMO in now at the same price that I was happy with with the initial investment anyway. So yeah, I'll just let it ride now and see where it takes me. All right, guys. So that's it for now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do me a favor and do that. Like, comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.